Yo, what's going on? Let's take a look at five blazing gaming updates. Cyberhood, bringing you the most explosive gaming content on the planet. Number one. Now, whilst this may be a rumour, Mass Effect fans potentially have something to look forward to in the year 2021, as Gaming Replay, who was a Portuguese retailer, have posted listings of a PlayStation 4, Xbox One and also a Nintendo Switch remastered version of the Mass Effect trilogy. Whilst this is currently rumours as it hasn't been officially confirmed, if you guys do date back to May 2020, Ventures Beat Jeff Grubb did say that EA would be releasing the Mass Effect Trilogy Remastered in the physical year of 2021, which ends on the 31st of March 2021. Whilst Grubb did not mention any specific platforms that the game would be dropping on, he did say not to expect a Nintendo Switch version of the game. So at least even if these rumours are true, we kind of know that potentially there is a Nintendo Switch version on the way. All in all, I personally can't wait to get my hands on this remastered trilogy. Mass Effect is definitely up there with being among my favourite gaming franchise and Mass Effect 2 in particular is certainly up there with the greatest games that I've ever played. So to get the excuse to replay such a phenomenal game with updated graphics is a win-win for me. Yo, Nintendo recently announced that come the 23rd of September, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online app will add Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest, Mario Super Biocross and the Peacekeepers. And the Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online app will add SCAT Special Cybernetic Attack Team. Keeping it real, I absolutely love the Super Nintendo and Donkey Kong Country 2 is an all-time classic. And whilst it's great that these games are going to be added to the library, I'll be lying if I was to sit here and say that I play the Super Nintendo Switch Online app that much and I'll go a step further to say that I personally would probably prefer to see Donkey Kong Country Trilogy remastered and potentially released on the Nintendo Switch with updated graphics but I know I'm probably asking for a lot there but with all that being said it's definitely a great look to be getting some of these games added to the library for some of those who want to definitely relive some of those retro gaming moments. Number three. Sci-fi gaming fans did get a surprise this week as Star Wars Industry has announced The Invincible which is basically a first person science fiction thriller set in a retro future timeline and based on the Stains Law Lem novel. The game itself will be launching on the PlayStation 5, the Xbox series and also PC via Steam in the year 2021. In terms of the background, you're basically a scientist on board an interstellar scientific expedition suddenly thrown into a life or death rescue mission. Some of the features for the game involve retro future autopunk, setting reminiscent of the era of the space race, analog yet very advanced technology allowing for drones and autonomous robots to support or spoil your mission. You also get an opportunity to experience some immersive gameplay with a non-linear story shaped by your relationship choices and perspective persuasive skills and there's also beautiful state-of-art graphics powered by Unreal Engine. I suppose that's all words and from the sound of things those words do sound pretty decent so it's definitely going to be a game that I'm going to try and pay a little bit more attention to and whilst I haven't seen any trailers some of the screenshots that I've presented do seem pretty cool. Number four. If you're looking for a hardcore first person perspective slasher backed with lightning for us action and set in a grim cyberpunk mega structure then you'll be pleased to know that first person slasher Ghost Runner will be launching for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC via Steam, COG and Epic Game Store on the 27th of October 2020 for $30, €30 Euros, or £25. An updated demo for the game will be available for the PC via Steam on the 29th of September 2020. Looking at the trailer of this game it definitely does look insane and whilst maybe not a day one purchase for me personally, this is definitely going to be a game that I'm going to try and keep a close eye on. Number 5 
Yo, Fall Guys fans will be delighted to know that Medatonic has released a mid-season update for Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout, which adds new round variations, a new obstacle called Big Yeaters, and also a new anti-cheating system for PC players. I'll pop all of the updates and some of the patch notes in the description below because I feel there's too much for me to read out in this particular video, but I guess these updates will definitely add more competitive matchup for the PC players as the cheaters will now be somewhat limited even though I'm sure they will still find a way to cheat if they really want to cheat. I do like the idea of the level variation as this will definitely keep players hooked. I'll be totally honest, I haven't actually really been playing this game as much as I should have been playing it over the last few weeks, but this is definitely still a super Super fun game in terms of pick up and play which I definitely do need to drop my opinionated video about very soon. Fans don't forget that Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout Season 2 is due out in October 2020 so for some of the gamers out there who actually thought that this game wouldn't last the test of time I guess it will still be here for a few more months to say the least. Anyway peeps this was definitely just a jam packed 5 gaming news that I thought is worth sharing with you guys. If you enjoyed this update be sure to smash the like button and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so before and until next video we definitely say peace out peeps. Hit that like and subscribe button for more dope cyberhood videos.